on a $30 million project on the Lytle Tunnel starts today. It's expected to take two years to get it done, and local calls <laughs> Adam Clements has more on what this is going to mean for drivers. Sheila, it wouldn't be a Cincinnati summer without all these orange barrels we're going to see here at the Lytle Tunnel. Project will begin today. Now, the construction on the tunnel isn't going to start today. That'll come later in the summer. The construction is on Lytle Park that's going to be closed today. That's where they're going to store all of the equipment, those orange barrels that we talked about there. What's going to be happening here is a major overhaul of the actual tunnel that's now 45 years old. We're going to see concrete tiles upgraded, modernized mechanical ventilation system, which is going to mean big things for whenever there's an accident inside the tunnel. Crews are going to be able to get in there better. It's going to mean safety all around. We're also going to see a camera system. New lights will be installed. All good things, but again, we're going to see a lot of delays when we start uh, seeing these closures. They're going to shut down. Uh, portions of both northbound and southbound throughout the summer. In Chile, as you said, this project will last two years and it will cost roughly $30 million to be completed. So if this is a ventricle that you, tra that you travel uh, many times here in the summer, you're going to be expecting a lot of delays. Reporting live downtown, Adam Clements, Local 12 News. For now, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Adam. Major events like the All-Star Game and Oktoberfest won't be affected by the closings. ODOT is promising to plan scheduling construction around big events like that.